Friends, there are literally dozens of amazing Quest 2 games that didn't make it to the official store and instead are being released on App Lab. App Lab is a secret experimental subsection of the Meta Store and games there do not get any visibility. And in this video, I will show you some of the most impressive new VR hidden gems of App Lab that you might not have heard of, but they are definitely worth playing. You can browse through all these and thousand more VR apps on SideQuest, which is the official discovery platform of App Lab games, but you cannot browse through them on the official Oculus Store. And it's pretty terrible because then all these awesome developers that created these amazing games don't get the visibility that they deserve. And I hope that this video will help you discover some of these hidden gems that are not as popular as they should be. I'm not going to be talking about these ultra popular games like Gorilla Tech and Pavlov, but more of a hidden games that definitely deserve more attention than they currently get. <laughs> The first game on my list is Shuttle Maze, and those who played it know how awesome this game is. It's a hybrid of a maze and an action game where you control your spaceship with your hand, trying to find your way out in sets of complex puzzle-like mazes. What I love about this is storyline. There's actually a pretty fun plot in the story mode of the game as you're completing certain missions. You pick up various weapons, shoot the enemies and evade traps, all to find the exit from the maze and complete the level. The game mechanics work so smooth and the controls are really unique as you use your hand to move and direct your ship. I just love this game so much because it has a very unique and unusual gaming mechanics and you definitely should try it too. I'm a fan of creative gaming ideas and No More Rainbows is definitely a game that stands out to me. You play as the demon from the underworld whose home has been invaded by the goody goody rainbow puking cutesy creatures. And very satisfyingly, you need to find them all and smash them away. The movement mechanics is very similar to Gorilla Tag. You're swinging using your arms to move and to jump, which is very fitting considering that you're playing as a monster. The levels are really challenging as you need to find all the cutesy things and defeat the king. I get huge Nintendo vibes from playing this game and overall the idea and the plot are so refreshingly unusual. Plus a multiplayer is coming soon. No More Rainbows is free, so what more do you need? Check it out, you won't regret it. I'm a sucker for a quality escape room game. The Room VR, Red Matter, Flow Weaver, all of those are great and the Atlas Mystery is my new favorite escape room filled with mystery and even some horrors. The puzzles in this game are not repetitive and the atmosphere is very tense. You get immersed into the creepy storyline of the murder in the movie theater and honestly, the immersion through the plot and music and the visuals is something very difficult to achieve in a good escape room game, but Atlas Mystery manages to do it brilliantly and it reminded me of the Room VR and Red Matter which is a very high praise. If you love VR escape rooms, the Atlas Mystery definitely should be the next game on your list. Playing so many VR games puts a strain on your eyes, especially if you're wearing glasses. VR Wave, the sponsor of this video, make really high quality magnetic VR prescription lens inserts that I use all the time. The attachments go right on the lenses of your headset and the actual lenses snap on magnetically in just a few seconds. They stay on securely and don't fall off. VR Wave lenses correct nearsightedness, farsightedness and astigmatism, so you no longer need to fit your eyeglasses into VR headset and risk scratching the lenses. There is also also, blue light filter and anti-glare options that reduce eye strain, so these lenses are great even if you are not wearing glasses. You can order them on their website at vrwave.store, and on the website you can also find the face covers and halo straps. I even give VRWave a shout out in my recent not sponsored video on the best accessories for Quest 2. At the checkout you may use the discount code DISCOVR for 5% discount. I do not receive commission for this code, I simply share it with you because I believe that it's a great product so that you can get a better deal. You can elevate your VR gaming experience with VR Wave. Thank you VR Wave for producing these lenses and for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to our games. Say you have a friend who doesn't have a VR headset but you still want to play something together. Do You Copy is a perfect asymmetrical cooperative VR game that you can play with your friends even if you only have one Quest 2 headset. Essentially, you're planning a robbery. The person wearing a headset is the robber and the other person is the tech guy who can see the whole layout of the bank on a computer or on a phone screen using the accompanying app. They can provide directions, open doors and alert you when the guard is coming close to you. Communication is key here and the game can get really loud. I just love playing this game with my friends, it's really fun and nobody gets left out. Definitely one of the best asymmetric co-op gaming experiences on App Lab. There's also a free demo available on SideQuest, so definitely check it out. 
One of the most recent additions to App Lab and SideQuest is Shores of Loki, and I keep recommending this game to as many people as I can. If you enjoy chill puzzle experiences in VR, similar to puzzling places, Shores of Loki will take it to the next level with absolutely gorgeous graphics and mesmerizing puzzles. Essentially, you're not just putting together flat pieces of a puzzle, but actual 3D pieces of wonderful constructions that later on become real, grow in size, and basically you're building the world of Loki. The developers plan to bring so many more 3D sculptures in the game that you'll be able to put together, and Shores of Lucky is one of my favorite relaxing VR experiences. Arcaxer is not a new game on App Lab, but it's definitely one of my favorites, and it boggles me that it's still not on the official store. In the spirit of Final Fantasy games, Arcaxer is a turn-based RPG with a really elaborate storyline and an incredibly fun motion-based combat system. I reviewed this game in the past, and it keeps getting better. Our Kickstarter is fun to play, and during the turn-based battles, you're even doing some cardio. There's even a free demo on SideQuest, so make sure to check it out. Gentrix is Jenga in VR with the elements of Tetris and Connect 3 type of games. This is one of the simpler games, but I play Gentrix more often than any other game on this list. It's true, the game is perfect for a quick VR session, but it also can turn into hours of playtime. Basically, the rules are you need to rearrange the blocks like you would do in Jenga and place three blocks of the same color on the same level like in the Connect 3 games. And once you do that, the row disappears, but the new blocks keep falling from the top up, like in Tetris. The game has beautiful, colorful graphics, it plays very smoothly, but at the same time it's very easy to knock your tower over and then you lost. This is the most addicting VR game I've ever played and I keep coming back to it because of how simple yet polished it is. We Are One, formerly known as Help Yourself, is another VR game that shows that the developers were thinking outside of the box. You're using time loops by creating clones or copies of yourself performing certain actions, and by working together with yourself, you solve some mind-bending puzzles. It's not just a puzzle, though, but it's a puzzle shooter, so you need to think and act quick, team up with your clones, and defeat the enemies. The game is so cleverly made, it's one of the most unique VR experiences you can find, and you can get this demo for free on SideQuest. Iron Rebellion is a big Mac game that receives regular major updates every month. Built from ground up for VR, this Mac combat game has a fully interactable cockpit, a joystick system, massive multiplayer Mac combat mode, and a really impressive movement and locomotion system that makes you feel the scale of the enormous Mac. The new update also introduced the repair module that adds more details to the game when you get damaged and how to repair your Mac. And the devs keep working on bringing more and more features to the game. This is definitely a VR gem that you can play solo or with your friends. I really enjoy the all-in-one sports VR because it has a whole 11 quality-made sports games that you can play. There's baseball, archery, ping-pong, basketball, bowling, badminton, golf, darts, billiards, boxing, and tennis. My favorite ones are archery, darts, and billiards. I think those are exceptionally well-made, but the rest of them are really fun to play too. This is a great value for money, and for that, I really appreciate this app and the developers. Patches are constantly released, and you can play with bots or with your friends. Lots of fun, guaranteed. And here's another escape room in the theme of bank robbery. It's just a really well-made escape room with interesting puzzles and hints that help you along the way if things get tough. We can never get too many quality escape rooms, right? Escape room bank robbery gone wrong brings a more realistic twist to escape rooms. And finally, of course, I want to mention Crazy Kung Fu. It's not a new game and one of the more popular ones based on the ratings, but it's still not on the official store somehow, which doesn't make sense to me. Crazy Kung Fu allows you to train in your own dojo, and until I played this game, I thought my reaction speed was pretty good, but very soon I realized that I still have so much to learn. Crazy Kung Fu allows you to train your accuracy, reaction speed, and compete in global leaderboards. Turns out I'm pretty horrible at this game, but it made me want to become better. Plus, it's a great card it seems easy, but I got really tired in just 20 minutes of playing the game. It's definitely one of the most unique active games, so you can start your kung fu journey with crazy kung fu and even get a free demo on SideQuest. Oh, and if you're interested in checking out our Sir, watch my video review. I really love that game. Leave a like and subscribe to DiscoVR if you enjoyed watching this video and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite VR game on App Lab and SideQuest. Thanks for watching and see you next time!